This conference will now be recorded. Yeah. Hi, hello all. Welcome to the next session on SAP ABAP on HANA. In the last class, we have discussed about so what clips and what is the uh, what exactly the inline declarations and also what is the schema? Okay, we have seen so very very important the schema concept on the database level. So okay, in question, guys, this is. So what is the schema in the database level? So it's it provides in a memory in the database. It is in a data container and it's in a mandatory database object and which stores all the database objects like table structure types, views, procedures, functions, and triggers and sequences. And it provides the authorization. So with the schema, you can provide an, a security on the user level so we can implement the authorizations. And also it provides clear separation from other database objects. Let's take an example of, I have any two schemas, SAP HANA DB, SAP ABAP one. The two systems are connected to the same database and the ABAP, the ECC tables will store in this schema, the BW tables will store in another schema and it provides a clear separation in the data in this level guys. That's an schema concept. And let's take an example of, can we have duplicate database tables in the database level? Yes. We can have the duplicate database in the database level by having the the duplicate the schemas case. This is also possible interview in the tables in a different point of HANA database point. And uh, so from that actually, so if you want to access your HANA database, <coughs> we need to go to the HANA studio. So it's based on the Eclipse platform. So to get familiarized with the Eclipse and we have installed the Eclipse software and also I have installed the Java, Java J2K. And also we are going to see the uh, inline declarations with ABAP new syntax in the today's class case and 24. And also in the last class, maybe I have installed the Eclipse, but I need to install the uh, plugin ABAP development tools plugin. Here you can see it's an Eclipse and I'll start the Eclipse and launch the Eclipse and in the Eclipse. Okay, after this step, and you need to install LDT plugin by using below URL, guys. If you want to install this, and you need to go to the fourth step, help and install new software. So this is the step in the Eclipse level, and where you go to the um, Go to help and in the help you can see that install new software in that you need to provide the HTTP uh, S and uh, tools dot HANA dot on demand dot com. So this is the site and you can select. So maybe for now I am going with the only ABAP development because I don't want to put a lot of efforts on this. I will go with the only ADT ABAP development toolkit. And toolkit. So it, it completes sooner, next, and accept and finish. And now it is installing the ADT plugin into your Eclipse. So Eclipse provides an integrated development environment. You can build a lot of things by using Eclipse. That, that's what we have discussed. You can build UI applications, you can build HTML, you can build JavaScript, Node.js, a lot of things we can do with the Eclipse Java. And like same way, we can build the ABAP programs as well by using uh, by using Eclipse by using ABAP development toolkit. And so this is the uh, progress. And and yes, would you like to restart Eclipse IDA to apply the changes? Yes, restart. So it only restart the Eclipse case, not your system. Okay. So it is restarting the Eclipse case. So little bit is uh, whenever you install Eclipse, your system it will slow guys. So it will hamper your system performance. Okay. So that's what uh, one of the observation I have seen. And now you can see. So the must is if you want to access SAP guys, the must you must have the important thing. 
Okay, you must have SAP GUI installed on your computer. Otherwise, you cannot use the ADT the ABAP development toolkit. It's not at all possible. So GUI should be installed on top of your one more thing system. So this is the one more point. And see, guys, now you, you are going to see a lot of things. Java development environment. Okay, you can see uh, ensuring quality of the ABAP code using troubleshooting. A lot of things you can see on the overview page. And if you want to create your own system and go to the file and click on new and go with the project case. So when you project, the project, see, so you have to create the project first. Okay, so go to the file and and create the project. So here you can see there is an whatever the plugins you have. You can see Java uh, plugin, JavaScript plugin. There are a lot of programming language plugins you, we have seen here, web based applications. So I am going to use the ABAP project. It's our, our ABAP project. Whenever you click on it, guys, see it navigates to the SAP GUI logon pad. So if it is not there, then it is not possible to install your um, uh, things. See, I can connect to the uh, SAP lab system. I can connect to the S4 system. Maybe connect to the uh, SAP lab system. I'm connecting to our, you can use the lab system as well. And see, client is attended and user SAP uh, user and India. Yes, I'm connecting to the lab server guys. And so perspective, it's an above perspective. It is going to open the above perspective guys. See, and you can see the, uh, uh, maybe if you don't see here, you need to go to the uh, window and perspective perspective and open perspective and abap so this is my abap uh, perspective is so abap uh, see guys this is the system and uh, if you want to get on a big screen you have to double click okay the abap where it is uh, I can see somewhere project explorer see guys this you can see that is my project explorer and the packages so then what you need to do is go to the favorite packages add your favorite packages so add a package suppose the package is the edg your my package batch is i think six i'm going to add the gd6 so see guys what is the use of the package now so now i am going to searching for the gedg6 and uh, I'm going to add this package. Hmm. Very slow here. So it will uh, it will extract all your uh, objects into your, your whatever the objects we have saved in the EDG6. Every object will comes into the Eclipse. See guys. So now you can see explore. And you can see what all the objects. Even this package contains EDG and EDG3, EDG5. It's an, a super package. It is inherited other packages as well. EDG, EDG3, and EDG5. And it is an, a super package. And also this contains C business objects. We have implemented a lot of business objects and workflows under this. And also uh, we have created a lot of database tables. Everything comes over here, guys. So this is an Eclipse. You can you can see you can set your your own favorite packages. And you can work from over here itself, guys. See transactions, and you can see the transaction which are created under this package, and enhancement, a lot of enhancements we did under this package, and a lot of things, and other objects, other authorization objects, and classes, baddies, and uh, um, uh, authorization to zero scope, maybe O data services also we have did under this uh, package. So a lot of things you can see over. Here, guys. Maybe in the EDG6, you have an EDG package. See the other batch uh, things also available over here itself, guys. That's a packaging concept. How you can set your package favorite package in the Eclipse? Maybe uh, I would like to find out one object, guys. So the object is maybe uh, um, maybe uh, web back table. I would like to see the web back table, right? So normally in SFGI, what you need to do? You need to go to the S11 and you need to search it right. So here in Eclipse, guys, Control Shift A. This is the command, and it's in a global search. 
it is going to search okay all the objects with the same name we back i put an a we back and you see control shift a and it is going to put all the objects with the name we back so now maybe so the eclipse shortcuts eclipse short cuts for up okay first one is control shift plus a control plus shift plus a okay to find map objects see now it finds see guys so there is an a business object with a vivac you never know right so this kind of things so when, when you go to sc11 but i came to know in the eclipse with the vivac there is an a business object for the sales order guys and also there is an a database table and also there is an a function group see so all sales related function modules will be available in the vivac function group and also then there is an a table index secondary index you can see over here and also there is an a uh, another one more index for, for the customer and you can see there is an a data element with the we back so you can see all the things over here so when you use the eclipse if you want to find out anything you have to use the control shift a guys maybe i will use one more thing control shift a and maybe i am going to find out cds so is there any cds view available in this system so just i'm searching with the series co data services it's an abba panana concept simple example i am going to take out and i am going to search for the series and so there is there are some uh, it's a logical database and uh, logical database there is no series actually with this name okay maybe uh it is a five it is a three it is a six it is a eight and uh, so what is the our object base today we have created uh so maybe what i can do control shift a i'm going to i'm uh, find out edg eight underscore emps so i'm going to find out this object so but this is saved in the edg eight package even though it is going to search that object case so don't think that your search will work only on the packages even so this package it is only for the navigation purpose what are the objects you have created but if you want to find out any object you can do with the control shift a guys enter search and still it is searching see guys there is an app transaction with this see there is an click the transaction and transaction when i it's an sap ui screen guys see it should go to the sap ui screen where is that yeah so now you can see there is an a name um, a transaction if you execute the transaction you will get that transaction it calls in the internally it will embed the it will embed it the sap ui screen so guys so maybe next i, I would like to go to the another object maybe control shift a and uh, okay i will uh, go with the we back only uh, we back i will open that table uh, in another session okay instead of search maybe i will go to the data dictionary and database tables and open this table it creates automatically one more screen and come here and come here and open another table it creates one more session and uh, uh, come here and open one more session it creates one more session here and come here and uh, open another table it creates one more session 1 2 3 4 5 and come here and open uh, business object okay business object one more transaction it opens and come here and open Uh, the workflow template and it opens the another uh, session over here 
and you see how many sessions we have one two three four uh, five plus two okay one two three four five six seven but normal sap gui it's only six only guys so here at eclipse you can have n number of sessions whatever you want you can have it and go to the programs uh, source library you see the programs classes and programs and there are a lot of programs i can open the programs and you can see you can open a number of sessions. and also the timeout also you cannot see this is the, exactly the sap editor is above editor in the uh, eclipse so and here i am going to write some code so maybe i'm going to write something okay and you can see guys instant errors instance errors okay so design time errors we call this is an a design time are you doing any syntax check no we are not doing any syntax check. you can see if there is a red mark that means there is an error in this code because of this error you are seeing on the another error space that's an a uh, design time error. it provides eclipse provides an a design time errors and also here i have used a, a singleton uh, uh, class uh, a program which i have used for the singleton okay so here you can see the class not this maybe i will open uh, polymorphism uh, class and uh, don't save so there is an, a program for the polym polymorphism and uh, go do you see any so a lot of things we have seen in the object orientation so maybe i will do in a control shift a and g star p o l y star okay there is a program for the polymorphism and we have used the interface and abstract class right and we have displayed the data uh, and that class i am going to see now guys so this is the to find above objects and the next one is this one of the class and uh, it's an a sales purchase polymorphism class and this is the program which we implemented guys so when i dynamic uh, displaying the data so let's assume uh, if i am going to exclude this plus execute is f8 and run see guys so when i select purchase order it should display the sorry uh if it is in a sales order it should display sales order details let's say example sales maybe the order number is something uh, 4977 and uh, this, this is going to display the header and display and it displays the header details of in a sales order i don't know why it's not working that time it works okay if it is in a sales order it will display sales order and if it is in a uh, if i put p if it is in a p it will display the purchase order actually so purchase order header dynamically we are displaying the uh, by using field symbols we have used this report right? so here so we report right things and maybe uh, come here and this is the code there are a lot of uh, classes we have implemented so this is the class and all so suppose uh, i would like to get an outline how to get all the hierarchy of this case so if i want to get an hierarchy of this code so i need to click on control o see guys you can see the hierarchy and this program contains a lot of things control o provides the outline not a hierarchy outline of your programs you can see what are all the fields we have used and what are all the data elements we have used what are all the internal tables we have used and what is the event which we have used so all the declarations it provided and click this click on this it will go to the that particular place case that's a name um, control o is the outline or else you can go from the navigation also and go to the window and uh, navigation uh, show view guys you can set your views and maybe if you want to see the outline so uh, alt shift to so this is the outline of your uh, program and also if you want to uh, see the uh, show view and the uh, errors suppose error log so it is going to show an error log guys so a lot of things whatever you want to show you have to go to the show view and you need to see the problems suppose if it is a syntax errors 
you can see the syntax errors over here guys so this is the view is uh, sorry show, show view is very very important and also task list and uh, no uh, show show view project explorer if you want to see the project explorer this is the project explorer you can see over here guys so it's all navigations you need to go to the window and appearance sorry uh, show and you need to see the things and appearance also show title bar hide status bar toggle full screen so maybe show title bar and uh, window show templates you can write the code with the templates as well guys let's take an example of i have a template so with the templates you can write your own code maybe the template is a loop uh, suppose sometimes many times you are going to write the loop space that also we'll see in the uh, future how to write the uh, those kind of things maybe my preference is always i'm going to set the app development is preference and apply and close and that is my preferences you can see all these things templates over here guys see so if you run some code with the if else if it will give us some, some template guys it will give a template for your if and if and also loop you want to write an a loop statement so go to the uh, templates template screen where is that uh, window and show view with the template automatic code if you want to write loop at assigning see there is an a code which is there here you can see there is a name template automatically it is give you this see so you can assign the templates table at internal table assigning fields okay no need to write that automatically it will give you this symbol and loop that so this is the one thing and next one is the control uh, suppose i would like to comment some code guys maybe i would like to uncomment this code okay so here the control 7 to comment as well as uncomment in the uh, sap gui what exactly the comment uh, control uh, less than is the comment and here it's a control 7 guys see it is uncommented now you can see the code is uncommented suppose if you want to comment the code again same control 7 and it is commented now if you want to uncomment and control 7 both the things same control 7 so if it is uncommented already commented it will uncomment if it is not uncommented it will comment the code this control 7 is the uh, uh, one more thing control plus 7 to comment and uncomment the code okay then one more thing is um, i would like to Uh, navigate to the class guys let's uh, assume uh, this is the interface actually uh, in sap if you want to navigate the object what you will do you will double click it see i am going to double click it doesn't go guys double click doesn't work so if you want to navigate to the object okay press control <coughs> press control and double click so it will goes to the the interface see it goes to the next database uh, next above object so navigation so control plus double click navigates to the above objects from program so control double click click guys then uh control 7 and even you need to use the pretty printer right so i did some changes i would like to apply a pretty printer so go to the uh, interface and maybe you can come back so how to come back from here so children uh, and also guys i can here i can put control g control t see guys control t t provides a hierarchy so this is the interface so for this interface control t interface this is after class you remember right we have seen top level interface
after five minutes, then we have implemented up, abstract class. Uh, this up, abstract class is for this. So what we have did in our object orientation. So complete high. Right. Complete hierarchy of the program. So, guys, in normal SAP educations, inheritance, parent level, objects, but it gives the very clear picture. Guys, see, so I have a top level high interface. So this interface is abstracted into the abstract class. So this abstract class is inherited to the two subclasses. See, that's a complete hierarchy it is going to provide, guys. That's an control T. And also, uh, uh, execute is same, guys. F8 is F8. F8 is uh, execute. And also, we have uh, shift, uh, shift plus. I think uh, pretty printer shift F1 right uh, in the uh, where and here the pretty printer is go to some program uh, so shift F1 yeah so shift F1 is the Pretty printer, guys. So maybe what I will do, I put small letters, B A T A, and Shift F1. So it becomes caps, guys. See, so Shift F1 is the uh, pretty printer. So see, guys, D A T A. It's a small letters I put, and Shift F1. It becomes a caps. So a keywords caps. Okay, always it goes, and uh, Shift plus F1 is a pretty printer okay so guys we'll keep on add so whatever the shortcut comes maybe that these are some of the things main things which we are going to use in the uh, eclipse and it gives more than six sessions and also it never gives the timeout and also guys you can connect whatever the system you want you can connect it so go to the um, uh, explorer and maybe i'm going to create a file explorer uh, uh, maybe perspective open perspective and uh, no no somewhere i can see uh, uh, show view and project explorer and you can see the project explorer guys and in this project explorer come here see this is the only one system guys so tomorrow i would like to add another system okay in single session i can connect to the a new aba project aba project and maybe I will go to, I will connect to my S4 on a system, double click and uh, 800 and uh, ST on a uh, 19 and WLCOME123 enter. So it is going to connect to the S4 on a system. See, so you can see there are two systems now. So this is another system, this is another system and single session, I can work with the multiple systems guys. That's so, that was also one of the uh, advantage by using Eclipse by development tools guys, okay? So now what we are going to do is, uh, I'm going to apply new inline declarations on top of our existing programs guys, okay? New inline declarations are introduced uh, uh, from 7.70 new inline declarations okay this is introduced new inline declarations or introduced from SAP NetViewer above NetViewer, okay? Above version guys, above NetViewer version from which is equal to and greater than 7.40. So if you see your system above system, which is greater than 7.0, 
you can apply the inline declarations go to the system and status and and go to the product version of your sap and you can see the abap this is abap netweaver version 7.40 i can apply the inline declarations and also i would like to see my what is my sap and it's an sap ecc guys core ecc system sap core ecc system guys it's an erp system okay and i have a one more session and i go to the uh, one more session It's gone. And go to the ST HANA and ST HANA 19. And go to the system and status. And go to the product version. And you can see this is an SAP ABAP 7.5. And installed product is a name. It's an S4 HANA system, guys. You can see S4 HANA on premises system. And 1809 is the my version 1809 so you can see 1709 and 1809 and also the 1909 uh, is the recent s4 ana server which is re released in the september 28th i think so sap has uh, newly released uh, sap 1809 version so we have uh, 1809 sorry 1909 and the year the year and the month they are going to keep it case okay so 189th uh, a month and we have 1909 as well okay so that's an a, a version uh, history and sap about new systems case maybe so what i am going to do is uh, we are going to take uh, one of the existing objects so so favorite packages not here here and maybe uh, we have any big programs case do we have any big programs in the edg6 uh, normal report normal report program and do you remember any program which is having lengthy of the code uh, maybe interactive we may see a lot of programs interactive reporting and uh, in the interact in six interactive uh, maybe control shift to a uh, g star int mm, g edg6 star int uh, edg6 star int star so maybe so there is some programs interactive reporting programs you must see a lot of code so i'm going to take interactive reporting guys Uh, maybe uh, I'll go to the S4 on system. It is a little slow, the ECC system. And go to the favorite packages and add favorite package. I'm going to add the new package. And we have only one package, GEDG, in the S4 on system and select it. And if you see, there are some 300 objects we have built in the EDG. I'm not sure who build this many pro programs i don't know and programs and you can see there is an a interactive alv finance report and cds persistent class test and uh, amdp yeah interactive uh, 
grid demo maybe i will go with this case this is the program and uh, this is the program and nothing is there Okay, you take some other any simple program. yeah this is the program and you see guys there are a lot of data declarations right there are a lot of data declarations maybe here what i am going to do is i am going to do a inline declarations over here okay so select star from the back into table gt underscore we back okay so i will do the comment i don't want to do any inline declaration and control seven I commented out and maybe you will get an a syntax error into table and at the rate in the select you need to use at the rate guys and data is the keyword data is the keyword to create a data objects and open the parenthesis and close the parenthesis case and see and control s and if you do the syntax check is the control f2 same and it, it is giving an inline declaration see there is an a declaration when escape all host variable must be escaped using uh, at the rate the variables is not escaped in the same way as the preceding host variables so whenever you use the inline declarations there are some key points which you need to remember guys so the key points are one is the key points are one is all variables which are used in select query must be escaped with host variable at the rate guys with the host variable you need to escape with the at the rate so that's the error which is giving over here and you need to use here in at the rate you need to use it see now it's gone the error is gone suppose uh, maybe what exactly it will do guys whenever you use the uh, select star from v back into table at the rate data gt underscore v back that means you are selecting all the fields from the database table and sap dynamically creates a internal table with the all the fields now i am going to change i want a only the specific fields vbeln and auart and vkorg and vtwez and rtwkunnr so this is my query guys i would like to select only the specific fields and guys it's giving a design time error see so if host variables are escaped if it's in a new open sql statement guys new open sql st statement must be used throughout because whenever you use in a data declaration it comes under the new open sql statement whenever you use the new open sql statement you must okay put in a comma as in a separator for all the fields okay you must use in a comma as in a separator before it was old open sql before we are going to use a space as an a separator but if you use new new open sql statements we must use okay comma as a separator for each each selection field for each selection field in select query so this is the second point which we have to uh, remember whenever you use the inline declarations the new open sql statement guys so here you can see the internal table is created with the specific fields these are the fields which i would like to get it guys maybe uh, even i don't use the work area as well here and control 7 and also uh, everywhere guys everywhere i will comment okay only the date accept date i will comment everything control 7 i don't use declarations at all okay and maybe i need to have an a uh, uh, 
a period over here and control s and control f2 and no need to do an f2 guys describe table okay gv underscore lines so guys whenever it is in a select you need to use only at the rate why because it's in a select query you need to use host variables but all other places don't use the at the rate simply use data and gv underscore lines see so here i have used the data declaration in describe i have did and it gives it allows me guys in the describe table it allows me the inline declarations i can use it and that's also possible and see guys loop at gt underscore we into this is my loop guys so where actually if i want to print the data by using work area i need to read the record record by record by using loop statement and i need to send it the work area i need to use the work area to print the data so here i am going to use the inline declarations data and as we back now you can see the errors all errors gone guys maybe i don't do not have a field erdat so maybe i can include erdat and uh, netwr we rk guys go to the kunnr and erdat one more field and i need to uh, have another fields uh, maybe an ETWR price of the product and WAERK. That's it. Last field, no comma. And that's it, guys. And now you can avoid all the errors which are related to this case. Maybe if psi ls and equal to do select start from this into table. And I'm going to use at the rate uh, data and the GT underscore VBAP and use this. And whenever you use a inline declaration, and you must use the at the rate and here i do not have the work area so i am going to use this and i am going to use this case that's it and control s and now you can see and get cursor field f name maybe i don't know either it will accept or not so i am going to use data object data and value also it's in a data and also here and you can complete this and control as i think it's not accepting here so inline declarations is not possible in this position guys with this statement inline declarations are not possible so maybe we can point out some of the things where the inline declaration is not possible okay this is also a good point so inline where we cannot do any inline declarations where we cannot use inline declarations. So first thing is I have found in the get cursor field in interactive reporting. This statement, I cannot use the inline declarations case. That's a, one other thing we have seen and go to the eclipse and so maybe i will delete this uh, inline declaration part. and here also you need to delete it and here you must declare in a declaration so maybe i will enable that so these two fields i need to enable this and control uh, seven and this is the logic maybe i can put over a uh, this and I can enable in a comma S yes, and control S and control F2 and maybe you can go here and GV underscore math guys. Yes, I can enable in a inline declarations. Simple. This is we can do this case GV underscore math map and that also we can do it case. Maybe uh, guys, I'm going to change this to here and I'm going to put in a data in the function model interface parameter actual parameter i need to use an a declaration control s and control f2 see guys and inline declarations is not possible in these positions whenever you call in a function model so next position is the it's not possible in the function module interfacing parameters you cannot use the inline decla declarations function uh, module interfacing parameters you should not use an inline uh, declarations yes, that's name one more point and uh, so 
So what is the advantage of inline declarations? So it avoids, uh, suppose whenever you are writing program, you may use lot of declarations, guys. Sometimes that code is not going to use. You are not going to use that code. You are going to comment thousand lines. That thousand lines contains maybe 20 internal tables. And what do you need to do? So maybe you will forget those. You will comment the code, but by going to the particular internal table and commenting, okay, it's in a tough task actually. It's in a big task. What we used to do is we will comment the code. Okay, let them uh, let uh, internal table there in the program itself. Unused internal tables, unused work areas, unused data elements. So whenever you create in a data objects, it consumes in a memory, right? So unnecessarily you are creating some memory when you are executing that program guys. So with this you can avoid unnecessary memory creation whenever you run the program. So whenever you want that then only you are going to create the internal table. Whenever that statement is executed it creates in a memory guys before it doesn't create any memory. So that's the exactly the uh, work uh, and also you can reduce uh, a number of lines. The code also you can reduce number of lines the code reduction that is also one of the advantage and also the code maintenance point of view tomorrow i would like to add one field just add in the select query automatically it will add in the work areas it will add in the internal tables so that's some use of the inline declarations and we'll from now we'll try to use the eclipse if you want to build any program and we'll try to see where exactly we can write the inline declarations so that's the uh, one one thing we can do the inline declaration is the new above syntax next syntax is uh, we can see is new slide in the object orientation actually uh, we are doing suppose if you want to create an object okay maybe now i will go to the object oriented programming and uh, go to the object oriented uh, object oriented workflow trigger and did i use function module no i will use somewhere the object no uh, maybe it is there in the Okay, let me create one program. See guys, new ABAP program. And I'm going to create in a program to display the, the output from the uh, way back table guys, okay? So it's my G, it is a six underscore and uh, new ABAP object, okay? ALV and description. And uh, this is my ALV report. And I'm going to use this uh, next and I'm creating the product guys. Whenever see in the Eclipse, it is asking for the transport request whenever you create a program. And maybe this is the uh, transport for the, maybe I'm going to create a new transport request and create a new request and next and finish. And it will create a new request. And so where is the request? Huh? Yeah. So, no, it's, Next, I'm going to create, see guys, I'm going to use start of selection. Start of selection. And maybe I will use um, parameters and also control space, you know, right? Very, very important parameters. Here also control space will work same like in a ABAP editor. And P underscore VBE, VKO, uh, VKO RG. And it's in a type of VKO RG. And start of selection and same and select. Okay, star. Maybe I will use specific fields, VBE LN and comma. I'm using new declarations, ER DAT, new open SQL statement, and VKO RG and spot VTWAZ and SPART and uh, uh, N E T W R and K U N N maybe 
currency and also i am going to use the customer k u n n r and from uh, way back uh, into table into table at the rate um, data and uh, it's an a gt underscore way back and it gives automatically right and where uh, vkorg equal to the at the rate p underscore vkorg so it's a pure inline declarations uh, with inline declarations with the new open sql statement and here i'm going to uh, display this data by using class cl underscore s a l v underscore table this is the one class case and with this class without a screen i can display the alv by using oh got it so i think you are there in the lv it's the class yeah so there is an a method and static method do the control space factory is in a method guys and enter and guys in abap editor control space again control space it works right see i did in a control space again so enter control space enter control space enter guys i am not getting the interfacing parameter the code suggestion is not coming in eclipse so if you want to get that control space and sorry yeah yeah, yeah. control space no it's not working control space and shift enter see guys i am going to get control space and shift enter provides the interfacing parameters of an a class or it's a name function modules also it is going to give it guys the entire code it is going to uh, you are going to get it that's a name uh, yeah that's a name control space and shift to enter in the eclipse it's a little different than others so maybe i'll go here and This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, so um, uh, where we cannot use the inline declarations, and also if you want to get the interfacing parameters of in a function module or class in by using Eclipse, you need to use okay, uh, control space and as well as the so like this we are going to add so where the shortcuts yeah so control less space plus shift plus enter to get interfacing parameters of class and function models both the ways wherever you see the interfacing parameters you need to use the shift plus enter ways that's an a that's the thing which you need to use it that's it and <clears throat> so that's it and maybe i will go to the uh, program and here you can see uh, there is a name uh, class and in this you need to export the in this maybe you might know this right so in this what we are going to do is so there is a name uh, table what the data you would like to display guys dt underscore we back is my internal table see guys how it is simplified with the inline declarations and gt underscore we back the data which i am going to pump in into this class and i am going to get an a object guys so the object comes to the here in the importing parameter okay this is my importing parameter control uh, 7 i am using control uh, greater than so this is my object and here you can see guys in the interfacing parameter of method i am going to use go underscore alv this is my object actually this is my object right and so after this i am going to call method so i have an alv object call method Zero underscore alv 
and there is an instance method display guys see there is an a display display is my method and control space and shift enter you can see there is no interfacing parameters so the inline declarations will work in the class as class as well guys so no but in the function models it doesn't work but in the class in the interfacing parameters the inline de declarations will work no need to declare gvo underscore alv type ref to this class and create object gvo underscore alv the two statements you can avoid here only single statement you can apply over here guys this is the alv reporting simple alv reporting control s and control f2 and control f3 same guys activation is also same so control f2 and f3 are same the shortcut point of view in eclipse also both are same control Control plus F2. It's in a syntax check and control plus F3. It's an activation. So these two things are same in uh, and normal SAP GUI and as well as uh, in the Eclipse syntax syntax check control. Okay, so the object is activated and f8 execution and this is the execution maybe uh, vkvo rg so vkvo rg equal to the uh, yes 100 i think it's there f8 no mm, sales are 1000 and uh, f8 no so what is the sales are we have here f4 yeah 1710 yes execute now you see the output by using alv object orientation guys very simple five lines of code with salv alv table so it's an object orientation maybe we'll see tomorrow more new syntaxes then after that we are going to uh, we are going to the migration point okay what is sutanana migration and s migration and then i will take it to the sql script some other database concept database procedure by using sql script then we'll go to the CDS, uh, sorry, AMDP, then we'll go to the CDS case. So unnecessary things I am not going to teach in this batch, like cursors, functions, that and all we don't create as an ABAP developer. We are going to use the existing functions and existing thing, what, wherever, whatever we have in the database level, but we don't create in the database level, the specific database objects. Okay, that's not required for the ABAP. So modeling views and all, I, I don't teach in this. Uh, class what are exactly required mdp cds and sql script and uh, cds with the uh, uh, data cds with the ui and the fury launchpad and tiles and uh, uh, activating the standard fury applications and extending the standard fury applications with the custom fields that's the course content of this guys maybe next 10 days i'm going to close this uh, batch okay so that's it for today any questions where yeah yeah it will work wherever you want see this is my program uh, maybe so edg6 mm, what is the program this is uh, back so uh, so maybe this is the program right new abap object so which is there in the s4ana system i will go to the s4ana system this is the s4ana service system SE 38 and S4 new above object sale. What here? So, what about internet? Okay, guys, you will get it, no problem. So you can check it. So the same program will be available in SE38 as well. So that's it for today. And any questions? Okay, thank you all. See you tomorrow at 11.30, Abapan Hana. Thank you, bye-bye.